In this lesson, we're going to continue painting the realistic skin on our Caucasian female by focusing on the nose. So let's go ahead and jump back in. So in the previous lesson, we started fleshing out this ear over here on the screen left. It's turning out pretty good. So let's go ahead and change gears once again, and we're going to jump over here to the middle of the face and start kind of refining and fleshing out this nose and exploring um, some additional colors that we can work in into both the midtones and the shadows. So the nose is another area where the skin is kind of tight. Um, kind of like the ears, we, we have a lot of um, tight skin, and that sometimes gives us those, those peak highlights on the tip of the nose and sometimes on the bridge of the nose. Um, in regards to those highlights, you want to be careful and add them sparingly. Um, if you get too carried away adding all these really bright little peak highlights, your skin can kind of come off as artificial or oily or plasticky. So definitely keep that in mind. Now, we want to be careful when fleshing out this nose. We want to, don't want to get too crazy with the variation of uh, shadows and highlights and all that sort of thing. Um, just because if we get too, too crazy with that, it's going to look really muddy and really unnatural. I'm going to go ahead and make an additional layer real quick and just grab like a really bright color over here. Let's just try to break down the nose into a shape really quick. Just a simple shape. I sometimes do this. Even if I've already got my sketch drawn out, it's just kind of a reminder, kind of a, a refresher of where I want to go with it and just cleaning it up. So I'm just trying to kind of think of it in simple planes, simple simple shapes, you know, like where, where are the shadows going to be, that sort of thing. So just kind of looking at that, we got our, we're going to have our highlights over here and our peak highlights, some shadows, some really dark shadows being cast underneath the nose down here. So we're going to kind of keep that in mind as we start to refine this nose. I'm going to go ahead and trash that layer that I just created. So let's go ahead and start kind of cleaning up the overall form of the nose first. And then we'll explore bringing in some of those additional additional colors. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust my brush size just a little. And the first thing I'm noticing is I feel like her nostrils just a little bit too large. So I'm just kind of changing the overall shape of that nostril, and I'm kind of weaving that shadow around the bottom of the nose there. And I may want to bring in just a little bit of green into the shadow. Again, sampling from the environment. We're going to have some of that reflected, reflected color in that shadow. Just kind of cleaning up the overall form. It's looking just a little rough, especially since we removed our sketch layer. And I'm trying to think about how this shadow off the nose is being cast. And so I may want to actually bring in just a little bit of blue. Just a little bit of blue into that shadow. And maybe just a touch of green. Again, I'm just kind of shooting for a little bit of variation. And while I'm at it, I'm going to kind of blend this highlight right here as well. It's feeling very sharp, a little too sharp for that, that area right below the nose. Felt a little harsh. All right, let's go back to this nostril over here. Now it's feel, feeling a little bit too light. I think it can be a lot darker. I may want to bring in just like a dark blue out of my swatches panel. I'm just kind of start to blend that in a little bit. We're going to have kind of a dark shadow over here as well. Again, if you're painting a nose, you know, feel free to grab some reference. Reference is always helpful. You can look at your own nose in a mirror, take a photo of someone else's nose. Right now, I'm just trying to just kind of simplify some of these areas that I feel like have gotten just a little bit muddy. Not starting to feel a lot nicer. Let's go ahead and zoom out. Just making a quick comparison. All right.
Alrighty, let's start to work in some additional colors just in the nose overall. Again, the nose is a as a part of the the face where we got a lot of blood coming into it. So we want to bring in some warm colors, but at the same time we want to be careful. We don't want her to feel like she's got a cold or she's sick. So I'm just going to come down here to this palette of colors that we created earlier. We'll kind of grab this warm kind of pinkish pinkish red color. We'll just kind of start to work work that in just very lightly. Just kind of into the nose. May want to bring in just a little bit of orange too. We don't want too much red. We don't want her to feel like she's like a doll or anything like that. So that's feeling pretty nice. I'm going to reduce the size of my brush. Might sample from this highlight right here above the above the lips. It's kind of on this a similar plane. I feel like the light will also be hitting the nostril almost as equally as this area of skin right here. So I'm just going to kind of bring in some of that color as well. Very nice. Let's go ahead and kind of clean up this this peak highlight. Might make it just a little bit sharper. But we'll blend kind of the top of it into the overall highlight coming off the nose. Now that highlight is feeling a little too a little too white. May want to bring in some of this yellowish highlight tone that I have to kind of work it in. And I'm just trying to think about how how intense I want that that shadow off the nose to be. So just kind of zooming in and out. If it's feeling like it's too dark from far away, if it's feeling a little too muddy, you may want to tone it down some. Now we're also going to have kind of a, a reflected highlight probably underneath the nose. We don't have to worry about that too much just yet, but I want to kind of start to work that in there and kind of get a feel for it. I may want to grab one of these down here that has just a little bit of blue or green in it. Another one of those highlight tones that we created. Just kind of start to work that into that reflective light. I'm just kind of quickly sampling all around. Just trying to establish the form of that nose. Let's go ahead and make another quick comparison. Just coming over here to my layers panel, hiding the visibility of that layer. And that nose is looking a million times better. It's feeling much, much nicer. I may want to tone down the this overall highlight extending up the bridge of the nose. It's feeling a little harsh. And I feel like we'll have a little bit of a shadow just right in here. Just a faint one. I mean, we may want to tighten up this area just right in here. It's looking a little bit, a little rough. And so up here, kind of above the bridge of the nose, we're going to have a pretty tight, tight area where I think we'll have some highlight. But then we're also going to kind of have that little bit of a recess up here as well. So we will have a little bit of a faint shadow in there. And again, just bringing in some, some warmer color into this area of the face. Alrighty, that's feeling pretty nice. I'm pretty happy. One more time. It's always good to make a comparison to just see how far we've come. Just really starting to kind of refine and add some of these different facial elements such as the eye, the ear, the eyes rather, the ear, and the nose. In the next lesson we're going to just work our way down and start working on these lips and really refining them and exploring again some of the colors that we can work into the lips and as well as focusing on some of the highlights, peak highlights, and shadows in those lips. So we'll see you then.